Welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Goroka, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan, and we're heading down to the coast, down to Madang today. So let's go ahead and get started. Ignitors on, fuel pump on, and low start. NG is over 14%, gonna put low idle. As my ITT rises up, I'm watching the rate of the needle coming up. And I'm also watching my NG to make sure that it's going past 35% and climbing. All right, uh, ignition off and fuel pump off. And release the start card. So yeah, today we're heading down to Medang. It's just a 25 minute flight. We'll be heading out of Garoka over the Bene Gap, us the Ramu Valley and back down to the coast. All right, got my prop forward, generator, alternator, aux, aux bus on. All right, so today I am just taking a bunch of cargo down and picking up some people. I've got 553 kgs. So I'm going to put that in here into our app. I've got all the chairs on board. 553 kgs, I've got 650 pounds of fuel. And a lot of people have asked, you know, like, why do we do fuel? Why do we do kgs? In pounds and kgs, it's because the G1000 only takes pounds, not kgs or liters. That's why we have to use this app and it does all the conversion for us so that we don't mess up. So it says I can add on another 340 kgs or 747 pounds of fuel. For my cargo here, I'm gonna put down 1,220 pounds and verify that that matches within 10. So it says 6506, it says 6530. So looks like my pilots weight is a bit different than what it is in here. That's the difference. Our flight plan in. Let's go ahead and do our checklist up here. This is just a flip checklist. It's not connected to the plane, it's just a Velcro up here. But it's a really nice uh, reminder for visually on remembering what you need to do. Like fuel caps. Selectors, good. Controls. Stones are going down at 9,000 feet today. Our full up weight right now is 65.30. So take off 60 and come back in at 71 if we had to. All right, switches and instruments are good. We're just setting up my trim here before I have to taxi. Flaps are set, indicated 20 and verified 20. Grok Tower, November Tango Kilo, request taxi, Medang, 1 POB. Hello, my thing of Kilo Koroka Tower. Good day. Uh, taxi runway 17 left and the back track and line up. QNH 1018. 1018, clear back track and line up 17 left, no, come to Kilo. Alright, taxi light on. All right, clear right and clear left. Throw our strobe and our landing. And then back to pulse on our landing light. All right, for our port, if we are not 50 knots at this taxiway here, I'm gonna go ahead and full reverse, or in case I have birds or something on the runway and I need to stop. Full reverse, heavy braking, flaps up. Pull off, pull off, and shut off if we're going off. After takeoff, pitch for 85. Consider EPL, consider feather, 80 full flaps, cut off, pull off, shut off, emergencies, masters, masters, and crack my door. All right, get our igniters on, our lights are already done. Our harnesses, which are just seatbelt harnesses, they lock it. Our high idle and governor, we've already done governor earlier today. November Tango Kilo ready for departure. November Tango Kilo. 17 left, left turn, clear for takeoff. 17 left, left turn, clear for takeoff. No, number tango kilo. All right. Checklist complete, ignition condition flaps 20. Fuel and harnesses. 27 degrees out. 5,000, 13, 13, 30. Good again, taxi, runway 17 left. Correction, runway 17 right, and line up, cross 17 left. QNH 1018, and temperature 23. All right, our speed is alive. Continuing, there's 50. 
Nightmare 60. Pitch it for about 70 or seven and a half degrees on my horizon here. That's going to give me around 85 knots. And we're climbing out at 740 on the ITT. So at a safe altitude over 85 knots and increasing on our airspeed, we'll reduce our flaps to 10 degrees. And we'll start our left hand turn shortly up to the bending gap. Here's over 90 and increasing. We'll go zero degrees of flaps and bring our prop back down to 2000 RPM. A little bit of back trim. And as I bring the prop back, our ITT is also just going to be dropping from 740 down to 720. Climb out right around 100 knots. It's going to be really close to our VY, which is our best rate of climb, allowing us to get to the highest altitude in the shortest amount of time. Let's go ahead and do my departure call here. Rocket Tower November Tango Kilo, departed time 22, tracking 019er, initially for the Benna on climb 9000, estimated Medang 47. November Tango Kilo 9000, contact Medang 120.1 or HF 6598 in the Benna Gap. 120.1 or 6598 in the Benna Gap, November Tango Kilo. Alright, we'll do our engine inlet back to normal, our igniters are turned off. And I'll turn our landing light off, but we'll have our pulse light still going. So I'm heading up to the Benning Gap right now. And the reason why we head up to gaps is because as we get up here, you can see there's clouds touching all the mountain tops. Once I get around this corner, we'll see if, I'm, if I am correct in saying this, but usually, not always, but usually the gaps have a break in the clouds so that you can actually get through and you don't have to climb up to what looks to be probably 12,000 feet for me to be able to get over these clouds today. So I've scheduled my, my flight just to go down at 9,000. If I can't get through there at 9,000 today, it's pretty windy out. Actually, it's not windy, it's just bumpy. And I'll have to climb on up to either my safe altitude, an IFR altitude, or I can climb up to just whatever gets me over these clouds, which I'm guessing is probably around 12,000. All right, I've got 1,000 foot to go. It's flashing up here. That just lets me know I have 1,000 foot to go before my desired altitude. All right, and it looks like the clouds are going to lie today because although I can see this side of the ridge, it does not look like I can safely get through. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue on climbing up. Actually, no, it looks like I get there. There's a hole. Perfect. That should actually get through at 900,000. So there we go. See what I said? <laughs> the gaps always somehow have some holes. So just because there is a lot of clouds in here, what I'm going to do I'm going to hug this mountain over here and then come at the gap at a 45 degree angle to make sure that I have 100% sure that I can actually get through safely. That way I can turn back out here to lower terrain. Super easy. That allows me just to kind of like slowly creep up. And if it was really bad weather, I'd also put 20 degrees of flaps and slow down to 80 to 85 knots. Yeah, there's a really nice hole right here. And I'm never going to commit myself to go through anything like this unless I know 100% sure that I can get through safely and it's VFR on the other side unless I'm going to be safe. So I'm choosing to continue on this. When I say continue, that means I'm going to go ahead and continue. I no longer can actually go out this way. 9,400. Once I get right past these, then I'll just drop on back down to 900,000. In this Bennett Gap right here, we're going to be switching over to our Medang controller, which is our flight service. 120.1. Medang 120.1, November Tango Kilo transfer. November Tango Kilo, Morang. Good day, go ahead. Medang, November Tango Kilo through the Bennett Gap, 900,000, estimating Medang time a 4 niner. 
All right, there we go. November 10 kilo, Richard Dang at 25 miles. A correction, uh, Eric QNH 1012. Not very forward, 25 miles, calling Marine Tower 118 SMO 1. Eric QNH 1012, contact Tower 25 DME November 10 go kilo. All right, well, we'll just wiggle our way through. It looks like on the way back, too, it'll be a little bit harder to get through. Like I said, I have passengers coming down, and I'm going to have to get back through that little area. It's one thing when you're going out and you're kind of working your way up, you can kind of see. So sometimes coming down is a little bit harder sometimes. Um, I guess it's the opposite. Anyways, just looking ahead out here, looks like we do have a lot of clouds just in the air, but it looks like it's just going to be a really nice, beautiful flight all the way down to Medang. So now that we're out of all these clouds, I'm going to go ahead and set up my cruise torque at 1,250 foot-pound of torque. My autopilot set up and start our descent back down to 9,000. Medang Tower, November Tango, Kilo, 10 miles, passing 3,000. Air circuit 4.5. November Tango Kilo, train circuit right base, runway 07. Track for right base 07, November Tango Kilo. All right, looks like we've got another aircraft here, 1,200 feet below me, so... They're either just departing, I don't remember hearing them. I heard someone backtracking, but I don't remember hearing another... Probably a helicopter if he's that low. And Tower November Tango Kilo has Alpha Tango Bravo in sight and we'll be entering into a wide right base following. Alpha Tango Kilo. All right, autopilot off. I'm gonna go ahead and put my prop forward because more than likely he will be backtracking and going nearly flight idle. All right, I'm at 80 foot-pound of torque right now. Just slowing down, 10 degrees of flaps. Engine inlet into bypass. 20 degrees of flaps below 120. We're gonna just slow down to about 80 knots. So just putts in really slow. All right, if we do need to go around for any reason, power up 20 degrees, pitch for 73. Left-hand turn out, correction. Straight ahead and then right hand turn back out for a right hand pattern. All right, I'm just gonna hold it around 80 knots so that I can just go as slow as I can, prop and harness. We'll do harness now. We have landing clearance to go and full flaps to go. All right. Yes, All right, I've got another half a mile before I turn final. I'm at 900 feet, but I also am on like a three and a half mile final, so that's fine. He's going to be backtracking by the time I turn final, get my full flaps in and slow down to 70 knots. That will work out just fine. All right, final full flaps. Tower November Tango Kilo, three and a half mile final, zero seven. Tango Kilo, expect late landing clearance, traffic still vacating. Understood, November Tango Kilo. All right, 70 knots. And checklist is just about Tango complete. Tango Bravo, take first left. Off Tango Bravo. All right, looks like he's just now turning off now. And I've still got two and a half miles to go, so plenty of room. Tango Kilo, runway 07, good to land. Good land, 07, November, Tango Kilo. All right, checklist is complete. Looking for 70 knots at the slowest. I've got seven knots on the nose of wind. 500. Now six knots. Looks like it's a little bit actually coming out of maybe 040 today. We get down low to the ground. Uh, uh, Alright, sounds like 
Alpha Romeo, Metallo, go ahead. Alpha Romeo, departure must be, will be climbing to cruise at the Metallo 250. Alright, we'll shoot Alpha for the down with the marker. Romeo, Metallo, Romeo, 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 Romeo,